Good evening doctors myself Dr Himan Sharma and today I am going to explain sideroblastic anemia what is it sideroblastic anemia its definition indicate it is a disorder of incorporate iron into protopore fibrin how i can say iron this is iron one component it's a, is port, protopore fibrin ring yeah five components here and uh, finally it this ring uh, belong this way this way this way this way and this way and between iron but this process not going to be done protopore fibrin so uh, there is uh, uh, deficiency of uh, not convert into the hemoglobin this then uh, globulin chain uh, enters into it and this is protein globulin then uh, between center iron and uh, these are the protopore fibrin ring then this is known as hemoglobin so there is decrease in hemoglobin level that's why you understand uh, there is incorporating iron iron pathologically in sideroblastic anemia not able to convert into proto with proto fire fibrin ring not able to convert into hemoglobin so that's why there is decreased deficiency of hemoglobin what else what are the causes of sideroblastic anemias first cause is congenital by birth we can say congenital some defects in a gene and another one is acquired acquired causes after birth like uh, alcoholics in alcoholics those who like to drink alcohol they develop such sideroblastic anemia or maybe some heavy metal toxicity like lead copper zinc and mercury can cause sideroblastic anemia or maybe due to the deficiency of vitamin b6 we can say pyridoxine uh, have you ever heard anti tubercular drug is isoniazide it can cause the pyridoxine deficiency that's why with att anti tubercular treatment or we can say cause therapy we need to give add pyridoxine also because it causes the pyridoxine deficiency and uh, some oc pills oral contraceptive uh, pills also ocps ocds uh, ocps and chloramphenicol drug can cause that's why in case of vitamin b6 deficiency there is glossitis and cheilitis so my dear friends what are the signs and symptoms of sideroblastic anemia signs like glossitis cheilosis depends on the cause and uh, here is anemia so what are the main symptoms of anemia i already explained like fatigue weakness and dyspnea shortness of breath how to diagnose this sideroblastic anemia by on peripheral smear we can see the basophilic stippling guys it's very much important it's visible in sideroblastic anemia and we need to see the iron profile in iron profile we see serum iron serum iron level increases why i already explained here about because iron is not able to combine with protopore fibrin so not able to convert into hemoglobin that's why serum iron increases these are the free iron and serum ferritin it's a stored form of ferrit iron then this is also increased but total iron binding capacity is normal and uh, here basophilic stippling we can see and this anemia uh, we can say mcv here mean corpuscular volume is less than 100 guys it's less than 100 that's why it's microcytic mean corpuscular volume microcytic and mcsc is also low mean corpuscular hemoglobin so uh, hypochromic and microcytic anemia this one classification and uh, how to treat so we can treat uh, we use vitamin b6 because there is a deficiency of vitamin b6 we need to treat the cause if there is heavy metal toxicity if there is heavy metal toxicity we need to uh, use antidotes like copper we uh, antidote is penicillamine how to remember in copper there is a p and in penicillamine p so we can remember this p and p copper penicillamine in mercury mercury r and dimer caprol r mercury antidote is dimer caprol in zinc there is antidote of edta in case of lead there is dot antidote is succimer dimer caprol and edta in d lead edta so uh, no need to remember it it's just a funda for me i am like to remember this with copper penicillamine it's very much easy for me mercury dimer caprol zinc is edta but lead combination of all three we can use succimer dimer caprol edta so my dear friends if you are going to receive any kind of question you can receive from this in sideroblastic anemia we can see this sideroblastic anemia in some leukemias in some blood cancer also such situation my dear friends 
बट आई होप इट्स वेरी मच क्लियर फॉर यू एंड नो नीड टू थिंक सो मैनी थिंग्स अबाउट बिकॉज आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू कंप्लीट हेमेटोलॉजी ऑल द टॉपिक्स एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क मी इफ यू स्टिल नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट एंड इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियो प्लीज पुट लाइक ऑन इट एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट आई स्टडी एनी टॉपिक यू कैन आस्क मी आई एम रेडी टू आंसर यू थैंक यू एंड दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे